to stitch up number 13. This number is truly lucky for us as we interviewed a very special guest at our Shanghai studio, Yves Guillemot, the CEO of Ubisoft. We are also checking in with the dev team on their favorite features for Alpha 0.3, our recent patch which came with some exciting updates. Finally, the art team will be answering a question that you asked, and we also introduce our contributor of the month for September. So stay tuned and enjoy the show. Okay, and we're online players. Now it is my real pleasure to introduce to you Yves Guillermo, the CEO of Ubisoft. Welcome and thank you for joining us. No, oh, thank you for having me today. Okay, so you've taken a look at Endworld Online at Shanghai Studio, so I'm sure that our players would like to hear your opinion on the game. So, what was your experience and did it feel like a typical browser title? It was very impressive, actually, the, for a browser game. You don't expect to have that level of quality. I think they went uh, to a completely new level of quality that everybody will be amazed by. A uh, true next-gen browser game, right? It is true, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, which faction would you choose? And what would be your favorite unit? Oh, I think I would, I would take uh, the Europeans um, because, you know, I would like to have my headquarter in Paris and, you know, like to rebuild have... the Eiffel Tower with uh, <laughs> In arena, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a very good uh, reason to do that. So I've also seen you've been listening to our soundtrack. So how was it? It's at the same level as the game uh, quality. I think um, this sound audio uh, is is just amazing. It's uh, you will all love it. I, I don't think we have seen that in browser games uh, in the past. I know. So you will you will see something and hear something that is amazing. Thank you very much for joining us uh, on behalf of me and uh, our and our online community. You're welcome. You know, it's so, I'm so happy when I come here and that I can see the work that has been done by a very talented team and that to, you know, impress our teams, our players uh, that will enjoy that game for years, I think. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank See you. you on the battlefield now with Yves Guillermo. Now let's check in with David, the lead game designer, on what his favorite features are in the new patch. I especially like how we changed the commander system. Previously, to progress, each commander needed to be trained, which cost a lot of resources and took time. It also made this commander unavailable for combat. So although the result of training was a more powerful commander, which was cool, player felt the process was boring and that the waiting times were big constraints. What we have right now is a pretty different philosophy and le leveling up experience. There's no more waiting and for each commander there are enough upgrade entries to have literally dozens of things to do every day in terms of upgrade choices. So every day you'll choose which element you want to reinforce on each commander and you'll choose in which direction you want to take each of them. I also like the new commander page because of uh, how convenient it is now for players. Uh, we love the feeling of being able to explore all the available commanders, checking their attributes, specific skills, seeing in details what they look like. It feels really cool, like a true catalog or, or military shopping list. Uh, this page will be improved even more visually and of course uh, we'll see regular updates as we include more units. Again, I really love this idea. I'm also truly happy that we finally introduced friendly PvP system because it's the start of something much greater, the custom matches. By custom matches, I mean custom tournaments, sessions, events or simply training rounds that the community themselves can create. So even if the current friend match is pretty basic, you can see it as an entry point to the many powerful tools that will be given to the community in the future. It's still early to reveal more and we also need to collect more data on players' behavior, but really we have great things planned. Thanks, David. And now it's time for You Ask, We Answer. But first, let me introduce Jan Yen, our lead artist. So Jan Yen, one of our players, Team Gamer Ghost, has the following question. 
What references do you use and what's the process of creating the battlefields, cities, headquarters, etc. in Adver Online? Thank Chao Okay, that was great. Thank you, Jan Yen. Thank you. Dear Android Online players, meet your new community manager, Zhang Jin. Hello, Anna, and thank you, and thank you all. So, Jin, tell us who became our contributor of the month and why we chose this player. Of course. Without further ado, please join me in congratulating Mars Flyboy on becoming our September contributor of the month. Not only did Mars Flyboy set up the Tom Clancy Endor Online Lounge on Facebook, which is currently home to over 350 Endor fans. As included. Of course. But he's also shown himself to be one of the most creative members of the community with his creation of the Endor Online Commander cards. I do agree. Yes. They've been printed, laminated, and look absolutely great. So there are more than 100 reasons why we chose Mars Flyboy, so congratulations. And Jinx, anything special coming up? Actually, we have a special King of the Alpha event coming up, but for more details, you have to stay tuned to our forums. So check our forum frequently, and thank you. Anytime. That's all for today. Make sure to check out our forum and follow us on Twitch TV to participate in future and more online live streams. See you on the battlefield.